China has been developing concepts for a lunar base. While the timeline for establishing a permanent base on the moon is not fixed, studies and conceptual designs continue. Missions between 2035 and 2042 could significantly advance this goal, potentially including robotic pre-assembly of infrastructure, delivery of life support systems, and technology testing necessary for human habitation. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. The lunar polar regions are believed to harbor ice in permanently shadowed craters. Exploiting these resources for water, oxygen, and potentially fuel through in situ resource utilization ISRU, is a key goal for sustainable lunar exploration. Missions during the specified period could involve mining demonstrations or the establishment of facilities to process these resources. Continued robotic exploration with advanced rovers and orbiters could lead to detailed mapping of the moon's surface, identifying new landing sites, water ice deposits, and mineral resources. Missions like Chang'e 4, which landed on the far side of the moon, and future missions could expand our knowledge and prepare the ground for human missions. Although China has not publicly committed to a specific timeline for sending humans to the moon, the Lunar Exploration Roadmap suggests that crewed lunar landings could be a long-term goal. Missions between 2035 and 2042 could play a crucial role in testing technologies, habitats, and life support systems necessary for human missions. China's planned lunar exploration missions from 2035 to 2042 are part of its broader lunar exploration strategy, which aims to establish a sustainable presence on the moon. While specific launch dates can vary, the planned missions include 1. Chang'e 8 Following the successful completion of Chang'e 7 and 8 missions, Chang'e 8 is envisioned as a key mission to test technologies and operational procedures for building a lunar base. This could include testing in situ resource utilization ISRU, technologies, such as extracting and using water ice from the lunar surface, and constructing lunar infrastructure. The mission is expected to lay the groundwork for a permanent lunar base. 2. Lunar Base, Early 2040s China has ambitious plans to establish a lunar base, with the timeline for a crewed base potentially starting in the early 2040s. The base is envisioned to serve multiple purposes, including scientific research, resource extraction, and potentially as a way station for further exploration of the solar system. The exact timeline for the establishment of a permanent base could depend on the success of precursor missions like Chang'e 8 and subsequent technological advancements. 3. Moon Mars Transfer Trajectory Study and Missions China has expressed interest in sending astronauts to Mars, with the Moon serving as a stepping stone for these missions. Missions that facilitate the study of trajectories for Moon Mars transfers are expected to occur in this period, potentially including robotic missions to test technologies and gather data for human missions. 4. International Collaboration Missions China has shown interest in international cooperation in lunar exploration. Future missions could involve collaboration with other space agencies and international consortia, sharing resources, data, and technology to advance lunar science and exploration. 5. Lunar Space Elevators or Alternatives While speculative, the concept of a lunar space elevator or alternative launch systems for lunar materials could be explored in the long term. Research and development in these areas could begin or advance during this period, aiming for feasibility studies or prototype development. China's ambitious lunar exploration missions face several challenges and obstacles, both technical and strategic, as it aims to establish a sustainable presence on the moon. Some of these challenges include 1. Technological advancements. Achieving goals such as in situ resource utilization ISRU, constructing a lunar base, and sending astronauts to the moon requires significant technological advancements. Developing reliable life support systems, radiation protection, and advanced propulsion systems are among the key technological challenges. 2. Sustainability and self-sufficiency. Ensuring that a lunar base can operate sustainably and independently is a major challenge. This includes not only the logistics of resupply but also the ability to recycle water, air, and other resources. 3. Health and safety of astronauts. The long-term health and safety of astronauts on the moon are critical concerns. 
This includes dealing with the effects of prolonged exposure to lunar gravity, radiation, and the psychological challenges of living in a confined environment. 4. Cost and Funding Space missions are extremely expensive, and funding sustained lunar exploration over multiple decades requires a significant commitment of resources. Balancing the national budget for space exploration with other priorities is a challenge. 5. International Cooperation and Regulation While China has expressed interest in international collaboration, navigating the international regulatory landscape for lunar activities is complex. The 1967 Outer Space Treaty and other international agreements limit the ability of countries to claim sovereignty over the moon but do not fully address issues like the mining of lunar resources. 6. Environmental Considerations As humanity begins to explore celestial bodies more intensively, concerns about the environmental impact of these activities arise. This includes minimizing the contamination of the moon and other celestial bodies, as well as the ethical considerations of space exploration. 7. Technological rivalry and security concerns. In the context of global space exploration, China's ambitions are viewed through the lens of international technological and security rivalries. Ensuring the safety and security of lunar missions while navigating international relations is a complex challenge. 8. Public support and interest. Sustaining public interest and support for lunar exploration over the long term is crucial. This requires effective communication of the scientific, technological, and societal benefits of these missions. 9. Risk management. Space missions are inherently risky, and managing these risks without compromising mission objectives is a constant challenge. This includes dealing with unforeseen technical failures, mission aborts, and the potential for accidents. 10. Infrastructure Development Building the necessary ground infrastructure for lunar exploration, including launch facilities, tracking stations, and data processing centers, is a significant undertaking that requires careful planning and execution. China's ambitious lunar exploration missions have been enabled by a series of technological advancements and breakthroughs across various fields. Some of these key advancements include 1. Long March Rockets the Long March series of rockets, developed by the China National Space Administration CNSA, has been the backbone of China's space program. Improvements in rocket technology, including the Long March 5th series, have provided the heavy lift capability necessary for lunar missions. 2. Chang'e Lunar Exploration Program This program has been a cornerstone of China's lunar ambitions. The successful launch and operation of the Chang'e 1-4 missions demonstrated China's capability in lunar orbit insertion, lunar landings, and roving on the lunar surface. The program has been instrumental in advancing China's lunar exploration technologies. 3. Lunar Rover and Drone Technology The development of lunar rovers and drones, such as the U-2, Jade Rabbit, and U-2-2, has been a significant breakthrough. These rovers have been designed to withstand the harsh lunar environment, including extreme temperatures and vacuum conditions. The technology for navigating and operating these rovers on the moon has been a major advancement. 4. Lunar Sample Return Technology The successful completion of the Chang'e 5 mission, which collected lunar samples and returned them to Earth, showcased China's capability in sample return technology. This involved complex maneuvers, including lunar orbit insertion, sample collection, and ascent and rendezvous with a waiting orbiter for return to Earth. 5. Space Robotics and Autonomy The development of autonomous systems for lunar exploration has been crucial. Robotics technology has advanced significantly, enabling rovers and drones to operate autonomously in the challenging lunar environment where communication delays make real-time control from Earth impractical. 6. Life Support Systems and Environmental Control For future crewed missions, advancements in life support systems and environmental control technologies are essential. China has been working on systems that can recycle water, air, and waste, and manage thermal control in a closed environment. 7. Radiation Protection and Habitat Design Research into radiation protection and habitat design for lunar bases is ongoing. This includes developing materials and systems that can shield astronauts from cosmic and solar radiation, which is a critical concern for long-duration stays on the Moon. 8. In-situ Resource Utilization ISRU, 
the ability to use resources found on the moon, such as water ice, to produce oxygen, fuel, and other materials, is a key area of research. China has been exploring technologies for extracting and utilizing these resources, which is essential for the sustainability of lunar missions. 9. Communication and Navigation Systems Advances in deep space communication and navigation systems have been critical for lunar missions. China has developed its own deep space tracking and data relay network, which is essential for commanding spacecraft and relaying data back to Earth. 10. Space Medicine and Astronaut Health Monitoring Understanding the effects of long-duration spaceflight on the human body and developing monitoring and mitigation strategies is crucial. China has been conducting research in space medicine to ensure the health and safety of astronauts during lunar missions. China's lunar missions have achieved several significant milestones and made important discoveries since the country began its lunar exploration program in the late 2000s. Here are some of the key findings and milestones from past missions. 1. Chang'e 1, 2007, China's first lunar probe, Chang'e 1, successfully orbited the moon and returned a trove of data, including a full moon map that revealed the distribution of elements and minerals on the lunar surface. It confirmed the existence of ice in lunar polar craters, a critical finding for future lunar exploration and potential colonization. 2. Chang'e 2, 2010, building on the success of Chang'e 1. Chang'e 2 provided higher resolution images of the moon and conducted a more detailed survey of lunar resources. It also performed a flyby of asteroid 4179 Tutatis, making it the first spacecraft to closely approach and photograph this asteroid. 3. Chang'e 3, 2013. This mission achieved China's first lunar landing with the Chang'e 3 rover, named U2, Jade Rabbit. It deployed the first lunar rover on the moon since the Soviet Union's Luna 24 mission in 1976. The rover conducted surveys and analysis of lunar soil and rock, finding evidence of water-rich minerals. 4. Chang'e 4, 2019. This mission made history by landing a rover, U-22, on the far side of the moon, the first successful soft landing and roving on the far side by any country. It deployed a lunar mini-satellite, Quechow, to facilitate communication with the far side of the moon. Chang'e 4 discovered a precious and unprecedented lunar material, a new type of breccia, which is a rock formed from the melting and cooling of lunar material after a meteorite impact. 5. Chang'e 5, 2020. This mission returned the first samples of lunar rocks and soil to Earth since the Apollo missions, marking China's first sample return from the moon. The samples provided new insights into the moon's volcanic activity and geological history, including evidence that the moon remained volcanically active until 2 billion years ago, much later than previously thought. 6. Chang E6, 7, 8, and 9. Chang'e 6 is planned to explore the far side of the moon and has returned moon soil samples. Chang'e 7 aims to conduct a comprehensive survey of the moon's south pole. Chang'e-8 is envisioned to test key technologies and systems for a lunar research station. Chang'e-9 is planned to be a relay satellite for the south pole of the moon, supporting future crewed missions. China's lunar exploration missions during this period have had significant implications for both scientific research and future space exploration, both in terms of international cooperation and competition. Here are some key points regarding their significance. One. Scientific Contributions China's missions have expanded our understanding of the moon's geology, composition, and history. The return of lunar samples by Chang, E5, for example, has provided new insights into the moon's late volcanic activities and helped refine its geological timeline. These scientific contributions are invaluable for planetary science and have the potential to uncover more about the moon's formation and evolution. 2. Technological Advancements the successful execution of these missions has showcased China's technological capabilities in space engineering, navigation, and autonomous operations. The ability to land on the far side of the moon and operate a rover there, for instance, required the development of new communication relay satellites. These technological achievements not only enhance China's spacefaring capabilities but also have applications for future deep space missions. 3. Human Spaceflight Aspirations 
China's lunar exploration program is part of a broader strategy to prepare for human missions to the moon. The technological and operational experience gained from robotic missions is crucial for future crewed lunar landings. China's stated goal of sending astronauts to the moon in the 2030s underscores the importance of these robotic missions as a precursor to human exploration. 4. International Implications China's active role in lunar exploration has implications for international cooperation and competition in space. On one hand, China has expressed interest in international collaboration, potentially opening avenues for shared scientific benefits and joint missions. On the other hand, China's growing capabilities and ambitions have prompted other spacefaring nations, particularly the United States, to accelerate their own lunar exploration plans, viewing these activities through the lens of strategic competition. 5. Lunar Resource Utilization The successful collection and analysis of lunar samples by China have relevance to the concept of lunar resource utilization. China has shown interest in exploring the extraction of water ice and other resources from the moon, which could be used for life support, rocket fuel, and other purposes. This aligns with international discussions on sustainable space activities and the potential for lunar resources to support space exploration beyond the moon. 6. Global Space Leadership China's lunar missions are part of its broader strategy to establish itself as a global leader in space exploration. By achieving significant milestones, China aims to enhance its national prestige and demonstrate its technological prowess. This ambition drives China to push the boundaries of what is possible in space, contributing to a global landscape of competitive and collaborative space exploration. In summary, China's lunar exploration missions have not only advanced scientific knowledge and technological capabilities but have also set the stage for future human missions to the moon and beyond. The implications of these missions extend to international relations, the utilization of lunar resources, and the overall trajectory of space exploration in the 21st century. We will continue to follow up on China's exciting lunar missions as they unfold in the future. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.